Good morning! It's about half past ten. We're in the Isle of Man. We're in Peel in the Isle of Man. Just coming out of the conservatory door because look, it's not raining. It's my first time coming out here. We've got a little rose garden. Oh, that's so lovely, isn't it? Oh, I've got a top tip. Here's my top tip for when you come and stay anywhere that you're not used to and you don't know the layout before you come. Just bring like a splitter plug with some extra electricity points because you just never know if there's going to be enough for your needs. Well if you're like me anyway and you're charging things all the time for vlogging for instance. <laughs> yeah there's not a lot in my room which is fine it's enough and I'm managing perfectly well but if I'd have brought a splitter plug I'd have managed even better. Anyway it's a little garden gate at the end I wonder where that leads. It looks like it just leads onto somebody else's property or is it a back lane. No, it's back lane. Ew, ooh, ew. <laughs> yeah, I just brushed up against this very wet rose against my neck. And to my great surprise, water's run down my neck. It's gone down there and it's actually gone down my cleavage. Unexpectedly, a cold load of rose water. How nice. Anyway, so today we've only got one obligation, which is to lead a Welsh session, acoustic session. So we just rock up to this bakehouse. We're actually being fed as part of the hospitality to the musicians here in the festival on the Isle of Man. So we order our food, we sit and eat our food together, our lunch, and then we're leading this session. And so it's something that anybody can come and join in with their instruments. It's like a sort of a thing for the community. But we're leading it, sort of keeping it Welsh, because um, they've got like, one day they've got a Scottish session. I don't know if they've got, I think maybe a Cornish session. Maybe I'll put a list here because I'll have to read the programme and check. Scottish session, Manx session. I'm kind of guessing, because I have read it and I'm just trying to recall. I, I'm just worried that I've imagined things. <laughs> I'm telling you wrong. But anyway, I'll, I'll put the list there. Anyway, so it's going to be really, really lovely. I've no idea how many people are going to come and turn up and play Welsh tunes with us. We think Jamie, the, our accordion playing friend who lives here, he said he's going to come along. So that's, he's a very good player. So that will be absolutely delightful. I'm looking forward to that. I didn't get up till 9am. I set my alarm for 9. I thought, well, if I wake up before, I'll get up before. But I didn't. I got up with my alarm. Guy's already been out for an early morning walk. Mick's been up a while as well. Hugh got up in the night so because he couldn't sleep. So he ended up getting up late then as well. But he was up for quite a lot in the night, just pottering around downstairs. Well, these are pretty. I, I don't know what these are. Dad! <laughs> my dad will WhatsApp me then and say, oh, I'll tell you what those are. And he'll give me the Latin name probably. Yes. Very different. Very Everything's dripping wet. Everything's like absolutely heavy with rain. Anyway, the session that we're going to be leading is in Douglas and hopefully we get a little bit of time afterwards to explore a little bit of Douglas. We might go back with Hugh or we might get the bus back. I haven't decided yet. There is a bus timetable on the kitchen table. So, yeah. Not quite sure how the day will unfold. All I know is we're doing the session and then taking it from there. I've been having terrible trouble getting my vlog up. So you will have known by now that I missed the Thursday upload. I'm gonna get it up tomorrow on Friday, which will have already happened for you now as you see this. But anyway, internet speed very slow. I've had to tether it to my phone, but it keeps dropping in and out. Anyway, technicalities, that happened. I know I haven't got time to do all the rest of the doings now to get it published. So it'll have to go up on Friday and that's just that. It's the way it is. Right, I'm going in. I'm gonna drink my coffee in the conservatory. I want one of these conservatories. And do you know why I want a conservatory now? <laughs> two reasons actually one it's very good for lighting if you're a vlogger because it's all like natural light coming in <laughs> but also because when it was raining in here that was just absolute heaven just sitting in here and listening to the rain sounds like completely surround sound of rain oh i could sleep in that oh it was so nice anyway i can dream on i don't suppose i'll ever have a conservatory <laughs> we're going in 20 minutes i'm gonna have a little 10 minute sit on my own just enjoy this now we're on our way to Douglas. Hugh's been driving us up the wall ever since we got in the car with him singing Oklahoma, haven't you? Nothing wrong with Oklahoma. It's his favourite. Oklahoma with the wind gone, sweeping down the plane. Happy talking, talking, happy talking. He's going through the repertoire now. Talk about things you like to do. He's very good, isn't he? It's brilliant. Well, do you want to get out of your system now? Oh, oh, you've gone all dark. When the children are asleep, we'll sit and dream. You are what musical is that from? Answers in the comments. The things that every other dad and Some mother dream. Are you not allowed to Google it? <laughs> when the children are oh, asleep. The there we go. What musical is that in? Yeah. Huge special quiz. Have you got it out of your system now? I'm trying to get it out of his system so we can proceed and have a nice musical yeah. free day. No, I think, I think I'm okay now. Oh Actually, no, I was lying. Oh, Cloma, where the wind comes, we've been down the plain. And the waving wheat can sure smell sweet when the wind yeah. comes right behind the rain. <laughs> 
Flower every night by a honey lamb and I. And that's not a question, it's obvious where that came from. Have you finished now? You did this yeah, I'm done. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, listen to that lovely bass and quiet. That's special, that is. We've brought the bus timetable with us. The reason we've got the bus timetable is because we might not be able to cope with going back in the car with you if we keep singing musical. This is why Mick's got it in his rucksack. I've noticed that loads of the lamp posts have got this padding round them. Whoop, there was one there. And uh, I presume it's to do with the TT races, I'm guessing. No, it is to do with the TT races. Oh, Gaia's confirmed. There's another one there. Whoop, whoop, see, whoop. Oh, I've lost it, can't find it. And there, and there. They are called Sarah Oh, did she? Oh, right. Oh. I've noticed there's loads of these like, three story so many things. Actually, there's a fourth on top. That's kind of, uh, yeah, it's one of the distinctive yeah, features I've noticed. He never became a big name himself. Right, so. Right, we'll go this way. Well, that's yeah, it. It's Noah Bake House, that's where okay. we go. Oh, it's big, isn't it? It's all oh, it's just fancy. I can't stop there. I'm going to try and stop over there if I can. Okay, I don't even know what... Welcome to the Borough Douglas. Is that a car park? Oh. Yes, there was an action spot. Oh, 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 yeah, oh, yeah, I remember this. <laughs> so let's go through this one. And if I can't park, I'll drop you off. I'll drive around. I hope you don't get bucked though, because it's just hard getting parking spaces. Yeah, it's absolutely jam-packed, and there's people waiting to park as well. Oh, hang on, that's disabled. Coming around the side, that's disabled. Hang on, anyone yeah, here that's technically Oh, there's a, there's a space there. What's the matter with that one? Can we go in there? I think so. <gasps> oh, yay! We are parking. I say we. So, I am now turning the wheel to the right. I'm now going to go forward just a little bit. I'm then going to do a hard left down and see if I can get into this space. Hello, and welcome again to part two of Hugh Parks' car. Oh, the beeper's going. I have to check. That means I'm about to hit something, but it'll only hit something if, I, if the beep goes very quickly. I'm now reversing. I'm going backwards into the space, but how close I am to the white lines am I? You've, you've got quite a lot of space this side. Have I? Yes. Oh, shit. See, this is the thing. I want to go out now and come back in yeah. and leave some more space, but there's a person getting in a big bloody van here. <laughs> <laughs> you should have your own channel, Hugh. HTV. And that is how Offenbach wrote that tune. Is it? He's in a car reversing. Oh, cool. Because that's one of the lines on something. We're here, getting the stuff out of the boot. And look, we're right on the seafront. I've vlogged here before. I can link that playlist at the end of this video for you if you like, and in the description. What do you think, Guy? First impressions. Of Douglas. It's bigger. bigger. Bigger than Peel. It is, yeah. And the sea. Well, the sea at Peel as well. There is, yeah. But I haven't a, seen it. A, a castle on, on an island. There is. There isn't a Peel. No, that's true. Well, I think and so. There's a big coffee shop, but there isn't in Peel either. We're, we're playing. Thinking how beautifully clear that water looks. We're not used to this in Wales. It's all silty where we are. With this car park, you pay when you leave, they clock your registration as you drive in, and then uh, it knows how long you've been there. Is this it? Noah's next door. Oh, there we are. Oh, it smells lovely in here. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> it's the wrong one. There's another Noah's, and do you know what? Sal told us this last night, and every single one of us forgot, but as soon as the man just told us, we're like, oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> bus. Yeah, but Sal's route did turn out to be correct. That gig's on yesterday. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is the right one. Oh, it's bigger. Yeah. So we've rocked up to this bakehouse and we've sat down at a table here. We've been invited to sit down. We're going to wait for about half an hour because we're a bit early for meeting Sal and Sarah. And then we're going to order lunch, which is complimentary for us, and uh, eat lunch and then start the session here. It's quite crowded full of people, hence my uh, non-people-y shot from above. <laughs> 
the guys are all getting coffee, but I just grabbed myself a water because I've only just finished a coffee and a sippy cup in the car. I'm just looking at the menu here, it looks really nice. Oh, good morning. I think I might go for the key side with the smoked salmon. It's just gone 12 now, I've been sat here for ages chit chatting. I've just ordered and I've decided to have a can of this hibiscus and rose. And it's very nice actually, I'm enjoying it. Not too sweet, but quite tasty. Look what has come. Filming Mook's veggie breakfast. How is it? That's good. Yeah. We're due to start in about 10 minutes, but I've just popped up here. This guy's suggesting actually, so you can go up and have a good overview from the balcony, and I am. So we're going to be playing right by the window there. That's where we've been sitting to reserve the musicians. This part here is actually a Santander work cafe, specifically for people that come and, you know, just bring their work with them and enjoy the facilities of the cafe and get on with their work. There's more of that up here. There's an upper balcony. I think that's a lovely idea. I think there's going to be more and more call for that, actually. And, you know, I'm somebody that does spend a lot of hours working at home completely alone in isolation, obviously, because I do a lot of editing and also a lot of practicing hours as well. And it does make a difference just to be among other people, even if you're not directly interacting with them and you're just doing your own thing and coexisting. It's, it's I don't know, psychologically, I think it's a good advantage. So, yeah, I like work cafes. I'm gonna head back down now anyway, and uh, before we know it, we'll be playing music. We're heading back to Peel now. Just running to have a quick look at the boats. The others are over the other side of the road. I'll catch up with them in a moment. <laughs> Back in my room again now, so it's just coming up to three o'clock. I am going to try now to get the vlog up for tomorrow night, which is my Friday. It's already been up for you for ages. <laughs> it's the travelling to Liverpool one. It's still stuck in the ether. Uh, so I'm going to do some work on that now. I'm really hoping that after that I can get a walk around Peel because I still haven't and I can see my window of opportunity closing completely. I am going to go to a session this evening, which I, I really fully intend not to film actually because I just want to not uh, go in with the camera because it's always a bit awkward with people you just met, you know. Know, uh, and you can't really film a session without filming the people. So anyway, I am going to end this vlog now. Thank you so much for watching it. Could you please give it a like if you happen to like it, subscribe down below to watch more videos from me and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!